I spent most of my life, up until I was about 36, I think it was, playing football, playing soccer every single day of my life. I grew up with, with serious ambitions of wanting to play for Ireland one day. And fortunately, someone up there was looking upon me and I managed to play over 100 times for the Republic of Ireland. And that, in my own head, is my greatest achievement. I smiled at first when I first heard about the Access Challenge. Um, probably didn't fully comprehend what I was probably about to undertake. My daughter has, has a disability and it was just something that, that maybe that touched me a little bit really. That, that was all it was and I think every able-bodied person takes the, the life for, uh, for granted. Y y it's a given. You never, you never fully comprehend other people's issues. Your challenge is to get to the Aviva Stadium by public transport. Oh, let's see how we do this then. From here, certainly within half an hour. Realistically, you could probably do it in 20 minutes from, from this part of town. Hop in a taxi, you'll be up there in no time at all. So you could probably run it probably in half an hour. So that wouldn't be a problem at all for me. Are you finding that difficulty straight away? I'm only 20 seconds into it. Thank you. That's quite a difficulty in, in itself, the level that the, that the chip and pin's on. It's difficult to see actually what you're pressing and, where, and what's actually been uh, written down on the screen. As soon as I wheeled onto the Lewis platform, I felt intimidated constantly looking up to people. It didn't feel comfortable to me at all and you almost feel slightly like a child again. You're trying to rely on upon others to, to see that you're in the chair, to see then that they might need to move, make a little bit of space. And because the, 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 the Lewis is so crowded here and because this carriage is so crowded, it's difficult then for people then to try and manoeuvre themselves out of the way to give you the space. Let's see what I get in here beside you if that's okay. We're certainly out of rush hour now, so it's, it's now just coming up for 11 o'clock. Intimidating getting on there, actually, yeah. Quite intimidating. Just looking to find a spot, looking to find um, some sort of room on, 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 the, on the Lewis Share. That was, uh, yeah, very nervous actually getting on there. Thank you. Thank you very much. I got to Conley Station on the Lewis, and I was looking to try to get the door of the train, but immediately, I came across my first, uh, my first problem. Oh, out of order. Well, now I've just discovered that the lift is out of order. Now, what do I do? Well, that's certainly not a good start uh, to the day. Didn't envisage that whatsoever. And this causes problems, doesn't it, of course? The option that's in my head now, the one that I'll have to do would be, have, would be to have to try to get a taxi. Hiya, mate. Uh how easy would it be to get a, a wheelchair accessible uh, taxi? There was no wheelchair access taxis when I arrived at the taxi rank. It wasn't as easy as just literally going in, getting in a taxi, off you go. Everything is that little bit longer. Yeah. All right, no worries at all. They give us a shout. Good man. It's an extra few minutes getting off and on the Lewis. It's an extra few minutes getting into the taxi rank, then you're waiting probably that little bit longer to actually get the taxi with wheelchair accessibility. So over the course of the hour or so I've been in this wheelchair, I've started to realise that forward planning is essential for, for how you get around the city. Perhaps even you go to bed the night before, you, you, you're planning the journey the day after. It's almost as if your life has to become quite regimented because of that. I am now going to try a bus, so hopefully everything runs smoothly, I can get on a bus, I can get up near the Aviva uh, very shortly. First bus comes along, bus driver stops, no problems at all and the ramp doesn't work. The accessibility ramp doesn't work uh, for wheelchair users. Okay, no worries. Good man. The bus driver then explains to me that the next bus is coming along within a couple of minutes. Just wait around. You'll be able to get onto the next bus, no problems at all, no issues. <clears throat> so waiting around for the next bus to come, I signal for the bus to stop and the bus 
just continues to drive straight on by and doesn't stop for me. So now I'm in the position of where I was before when I got off at Conley Station. I, I'd probably use a stronger word, but yeah, a little bit frustrated, yes. It's my only option really to, to go along the keys down here now, up, uh, up alongside the Liffey and, and, and get up as far as I can somewhere near the, in, near the Aviva Stadium, yeah. I think by and large it hasn't been a truly successful day um, travelling. I've, I've learnt that people in, in wheelchairs need to have such an organised life. You can never act out of spontaneity. I think that's, that's the thing that, 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 that's come to me. The ramp accessibility to the bus not working, bus driver uh, driving past not necessarily seeing me. There's a number of things along the way today that certainly highlighted issues to me that I never ever would have thought about. The world could be much better for, for people with disabilities.